Right, I thought I'd do a little video on a piece of kit I've picked up recently, um, a Super Nintendo SNES. I picked it up from a, a shop in, in the town where I live, a uh, pretty good price, it's in very good condition, the, the plastic, no yellow in, on it at all. As a lot of people know with their Super Nintendos and a lot of the consoles with the plastics they used to be made with tend to yellow. After a few years, it's sometimes you look at it and think, oh, it's been in the house with smoking, but no, it's just the way the plastics were made in the day. But yeah, there's no yellowing on it at all, so obviously it's probably had a treatment at some point to um, bring it back to its former glory. But yeah, it's in great condition. Uh, I thought I'd do this video because I just picked up a, a Super Everdrive cartridge uh, just to test it and see, see how it plays with a Everdrive cartridge. So I thought I'd pop that in now, it just pops in like a normal car cartridge and obviously there's SD card in the top. I've got it connected by a SCART connection to a CRT TV. This is the PAL system. Right, this is the menu for the Super Everdrive. Flash cartridge, let's select again. Deal start. This should be a different list of so you've got a test one in there, you've got Europe, Power, 50 years, 1, 2, 3, Japan, NTSC, 60, 1, 2, 3, you're up to 8. Is this is on information, USA, 60, two, three, four. so quite a bit on there, so let's go for, let's see what's in here. I picked up another SNES recently off eBay, uh, a Star Fox box one. The problem with that one was, put it in, just got the black screen of death, which it does happen with old tech. So that had to go back. Obviously it could be fixed, but obviously just paying that price, I'll pay for it. And then I can't, oh, there's no point me just fiddling with it when it should be with soldiers working. So I sent that back and got myself this one. Obviously they're loading up a bit longer than it is with normal cartridge because it has to like rewrite. games quickly or whatever and obviously you ain't got pictures and cartridges and it's an easy way to have one cartridge and have a lot of stuff on it and saves you a ton of cash but obviously I still like collecting but obviously today's prices are gone a bit crazy overinflated as a lot of people know Menu and have a look what else. Okay. 
not everything is on this cartridge. It, well, what's for all the special chips? There is no Super FX games or anything like that on there. But I want to have them originals anyway. So. But it, Final Cry. There is Chrono Chrono Trigger on it, which is a, is a cracking game. I never did have a PAL system when, well, I tell a line. First of all, Super Nintendo was a Super Famicom that I was born in Japan. And I think uh, later on it's like, 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 Cybernator, another great game. Great playing on CRT though with the old console. <laughs> 
Parodius.
Super Nintendo with all the cables, two controllers, a couple of games, and uh, obviously a converter for the Super Game Boy converter. And paid £65 for, that, for, the, for all of that, so I thought it was a pretty good buy. And for the Super Epic Drive, I think I paid £59 for that as well. Just because I'm trying to collect all the ones I have on there, they originally came out on the 
original console because right in the day I got one got, got rid of it after one moved on to the next